Hello YouTube and welcome back to my Hitman series and if you guys enjoy this series please do drop a like because it does help the series out a bunch. Now in this part we'll be doing Argentina Mendoza, we're almost at the end, this is the second to last mission. I'm sorry for the delay in this, um, in this part, I just had a few things to do, but anyways let's do it right now. Let's watch the briefing. And we're gonna do this um, Master Difficulty Suit Only Silent Assassin. something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Harold. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constant's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Okay, let's do this. And uh, we'll have our gun with us just in case, a coin. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna bring um, something that we haven't ha used in some time. Where is it? Here. Um... Uh, Fiber wire. This will be perfect. Winery viewpoint will start. Master difficulty suit only silent assassin. Because you're not an idiot. Okay, let's go meet Diana. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere. They're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Now yeah. she gives you an invitation, make sure you take that. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Okay, so what I like to do, go right here to the left side. Ready, Pam? Three, two, one. Climb over this. Move up here. Okay, go through here, and now um, get this crowbar, this crowbar right here, this is going to be important, so make sure you get it. 
climb over here. And go through this grass, they won't see you. Just don't move around quickly near the guards. Climb up here really quickly. Those guards turn around, so just be fast. Go this way. And right here, we move up on the side of the house. I don't know. Go right here. Probably keep something weird inside. Climb up this. Like how? All my clients have kept something weird in their safes, especially when it's a basement safe. Basement safes are where you keep the juice. I. Climb up this. Keep moving to the side here. Then climb up here. Sneak past this guy. Climb over this. Climb up here. Watch out, there's a guard right there. Use the crowbar on this door. And just hide right here. I know this sounds kind of ridiculous, but this works. This does work. Now we just gotta wait for Don Yates to come here. He's gonna have a conversation with his wife, and then he's gonna come over here. He'll be here in like a minute or two. It takes him a little bit, but he'll be here. I think he's gonna lean on something, and he's gonna come over here. Now he should come over here. I know this is like a really ridiculous way to kill a target, but um, uh, this is um, this is effective. And you can also um, this window right here. You can also hide right there underneath the window in the grass and then jump in right when he's walking towards the other door, but you, you don't have as much time as this strategy. This strategy gives you much more time. So now he's coming over here. Okay, come on over here, buddy. Okay, so what? now there's going to be one guy who's going to be suspicious of the Jeez. door. Sometimes it's him. Sometimes it's the guard. They're going to be suspicious that the door is um, smashed open, but they're going to get over it in a little bit. Always happen to me. Yep. Well, that's broken. Now this guard's going to walk through to the other room. Don't worry about him. Okay, see how well we timed that? And just wait until that door closes. Okay, perfect. Hide him right now in the closet here. Climb out this window. Watch this guard here. That guard's gonna go um, inside in a little bit to check up on him. 
Okay, now we move back to that um, gate area that we orig originally entered through. something weird in their safes. Watch Especially out for that guy over there. He eventually moves, but if you climb over here... Keep the juice. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Everything Careful. Good. Yeah, don't make quick movements, because that... Um, they can All hear that. have kept something weird in their safes. Especially just wait until this guy here turns around. This guy's gonna turn around in a little bit. Just wait for it. I... See... You can always try and guess the passcode. It's never hard. Usually it's the firstborn's birthday or the year they were married. And since the Yates don't have any kids, it's that simple, huh? Only one way to find out. Okay, just wait. Climb over this. Now we leave. Move towards the party now. Now we're good. Show this guy your invitation. Gracias, señor. Now we're in the party. Okay. That is Corvo Black. Don't Corvo got a message. Watch out for this guy here. This guy can spot forty seven. That's right. Okay, this is perfect now. Turn on this faucet. Huh? Jeez. Right when um right when Diana and um Say what? Diana and to, and uh Diana and Tamala are right there, or Tamara. And now turn on this faucet here. Hang on. I was a little bit slow there, so I have the coin as backup, but basically you want to lure the guard over here. That's one of Tam uh, Tamara's bodyguards. You want to take him down. Good thing. Knock him out quickly here. Hide him quickly. Over here. Take the gun. Okay. Okay. That's one of the one of her bodyguards taken down. Where the hell did you go? If you don't come out, I'm gonna lose my job. Come on. Where are you? It was a short stint, but they made them up. Okay, now this right here. Watch out for this um that waiter. Come up behind her. Knock this guy out. He's gotta go down. We're gonna be knocking out a lot of people right now. Hide him right here. Okay, now we go down. Okay. Get the suppressed pistol out. Shoot this water tank here. Now he's gonna go and investigate the leak. Come up behind him. Knock him out. You can use that bottle like I'm doing. 
Hide him in here. Take that gun, too. Okay, Diana and Tamar Tamara are there, okay. Now this, um... Hide right here and wait until one of the guys sits down here. this guy now okay two guys knocked out disable the security system that key card that we had on the table you want to be quick and um, hide these guys because Diana and, and Tamara will come in here soon Hide him. Okay, now hide this guy here. The gun sometimes falls underneath the rug, and they see it, um... And, uh, you can take her down with, um, electricity if you want. This would have to be shot here. So that's one option, you can take her down with electricity. I think she's- they're coming in here now. Yeah, they're coming in here. Now, depending on which bodyguard we took down, because one bodyguard is going to sit in that hallway, and then one bodyguard could go over here. It depends which bodyguard we've taken down. We're going to see in a little bit. We might have to do something crazy here. But you can also, um... You can also hide up top and use the ice machine. To distract one of the guards. Some sloppy wiring. Just an accident waiting to happen. Occupational hazard. Abramwood. Right there, electricity. Huh? Command. I'm looking at what appears. There we go. We still got silent assassin because that counts as an accident. And Diana right here, she um Turn this off. It's off, right? Just gonna make sure. But Diana can basically Diana can see us knocking these um uh, these guards out, and it's fine. So yeah, make sure you turn that off because Diana will then um Diana will then walk over it. But that's it. Make sure hide her like back here. And because we took out the security system, don't gotta worry about the camera right there. It's not unreasonable. Think about it. Deval was aimed by the mission. There's a pretty interesting escape on this one. <sighs> one of the most gifted Good day to you, sir. Ever to graduate from Ran one of our interrogation black sites for a while, and I tell you, those prisoners folded like laundry. I couldn't believe it when she left the agency to go into politics at all. <laughs> well, look out. 47. Tango. It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards, you know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, 
and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. Now this cutscene that um is coming up here, this cutscene always breaks my heart. I haven't done the final mission yet, so I don't know what happens, but uh this cutscene it just makes me sad watching it each time. Silent Assassin, nice. And this this cutscene makes me really sad. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Ether brand neurotoxin, transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. Man. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. Oh, you didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but... 47 didn't have a choice when he killed her All parents, I saw but... was a blank slate. A weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but... People aren't meant to be controlled. This... Is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. This is probably the only time that I've ever actually almost cried for a video game. I've never I've never I've never cried for a video game, not that I can remember, and this is probably the only time that I've ever gotten really close to it. Um and the reason for that is because it's just um uh I've played Hitman since I was a teenager, and Diana has been in the majority of the games. And just the fact that it's just, she betrays him like that. It just really hurts me in my heart. Um, this, Diana was such a big part of the Hitman games and what he did for her in Absolution. Um, but that's just, that's just really sad. Like, I don't know if this is a trick or not. I guess we'll see in the final one because she did something in, like that in Blood Money. So hopefully it's a trick. Hopefully she didn't really betray him. But I haven't played the final mission yet. So I guess we'll see. But that just hurts. And, and it's, the thing is, 47... He doesn't really have much of a personality, and that's the point. He's an assassin. He's a he's a killer. He's meant to be like that. He's an engineered clone, meant to take out targets. And as Diana is like the only friend that he's ever had. He's had Lucas Gray, but his memory got wiped. And then Diana, there, it's like the only person that he actually cared about. And just the fact that she betrays him like that, and the way that he says "I'm I'm sorry," like he tries to say it with emotion, even though 47, it's very difficult for him to show emotion. The way he says it, I'm sorry, you can just you can just feel that emotion in him, and it's just the actor did a great job, and it's just that that scene, it's just that scene just really bothers me. That's like one of the saddest scenes ever in a Hitman game. But we got one final part, the final mission. I really hope we get to kill the constant in this one. We get to kill Edwards, because I really want to kill that guy. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys um, enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. And if you're new to my channel, you might subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.